What's up guys, so today we're going to be talking about a certain sort of tactic that's been suggested uh, to sort of get you through life. It's deemed as a way to keep you happy and I think it's a, it's a really cool tactic and it's been suggested quite a few times but I'm going to leave the inspiration for this video in the uh, description below. So this has actually been uh, referenced many times for me. I've actually heard about it from multiple different people. But the most recent one inspired me to do a video on this and talk about this and I'm going to leave the video in the description. But essentially what it is is pretty much realizing the fact that the only reason that someone can make you mad or make you angry or upset or sad or just not happy is that you you yourself are choosing to react this way so it's really down to at least in theory a hundred percent you um, if you choose not to react or get upset or angry and here's the key phrase even if they did something wrong or even if they justly wronged you or they, they did something that other people or most people would deem as something that you should get upset with um, then regardless of this the only reason again in theory that you should be upset or angry or just annoyed is because you chose yourself to rea react in this way and so uh, that leads to the tactic which is just um, if you choose not to react in a bad way and you just choose to ignore it and stay happy then boom you won't you won't be upset now in theory this seems really cool and I know a lot of people will counteract with the argument well that doesn't really always work in real life you can't help but get upset at certain things that is certainly true in certain ways but my personal opinion is it's definitely a sort of learned skill you have to sort of practice it and get better at it and through practice and trial and error you will eventually attain this but it does make sense especially if you're younger that the first few times if something annoys you it's very hard not to react negatively bad or, or get down on yourself uh, it's, it's just human nature it's uh, down to the chemicals and neurological stuff in your brain that you can't control at least not initially through practice you can and so let's just give you let's just give you a concrete example let's say someone's making fun of you because you're wearing really bad clothing or maybe you're just wearing really dorky stuff then the tactic would be just to not not even acknowledge it and then just not choose not to get upset or angry or just depressed over it and remain happy and here's the thing a lot of people will be like oh that's impossible but I've seen people who are like this now I haven't met them in real life because it's such a rarity to attain such a level but there are definitely people like this in real life and no they're not crazy uh, but again that's another way of attaining it like if you're crazy then nothing can really affect you and I have met some people who are a little mentally unsound who fit right into this like uh, there's a few people I've met who were in special ed and they were just oblivious to the world like if people were making fun of them or insulting them or trying to bring them down it was just a simple fact that there's they were a little cuckoo in the head that they didn't it didn't even register for them so they were constantly in this sort of happy state and again again that sort of references the whole ignorance or is bliss statement I'm sure you've heard of it ignorance is bliss if you don't even realize something's going on then there is no propensity to get unhappy with it but the people I'm referencing are not crazy and it's such a rarity and that's why I haven't met these people in real life but these people tend to be 
either really successful people usually in terms of monetary gain or they're just really into self-development or they're just really really cool successful people and some of these people aren't the richest a lot are a lot are millionaires but some are not and it's just really cool seeing these types of people and let me just sh tell you what they're like if someone were to go up and insult them or make fun of them or try and bring them down or maybe it's not a person maybe it's an event or or thing let's say they're having a really bad day and they keep tripping and everything goes wrong they're, uh, because of a traffic accident they're late for work or they're having family issues because their family or are just having money problems or whatever or the family is just trying to bring them into a horrendous situation they don't want to be in they will not be affected they'll just constantly try and do whatever is necessary to at least from a logical perspective solve the problem but they won't be effective affected emotionally they'll be content they may not be the happiest people in the world, um, but they will definitely be happy. They'll be like, okay, this isn't the greatest thing, but yeah, I'm still happy. And they're just cruising through life. And the reason is usually, sometimes it's just down to the fact that they realize that this isn't that important to them. And there's bigger issues to be addressed. And um, other times, other people, uh, Again, I, I have so many different sort of role models I'm referencing, but other times it's simply due to the fact that they, they realize that this is just a passing thing and there's a lot of other people who are worse off than them. And so it's really hard to do, but if you can do it, like these people are the strongest people, in my opinion, like you can throw rocks at them or insult them and these rocks will just bounce straight off and it's like nothing can affect them and everything just bounces off if they get rejected by a girl they're over it in like a second and they're not scared to approach a girl and so forth and no these aren't like this isn't just one person these are multiple role models that I'm referencing and not all of them have all of these traits combined and so I'm just going to shout out a few, a few names just to name a few First is Dean Lazen. Uh, he's a YouTuber, and I've talked to him on on Twitter a lot. And he's just quite a role model. He pretty much, his whole idea, his philosophy is just constantly referencing how sort of fortunate he is in comparison to a great majority of the rest of the world, which is very true in certain ways. You, uh, if you're just like a middle class citizen in, the America, in America, North America, then you're far better off than the great majority of the world. Millions and billions of people. So if you're hung up on stupid stuff like some stranger insulting you, and that's, that's another big thing. You have to realize that these people you might not ever see again, or they're just strangers, or it's not really that important anyways. Um, compared to the bigger issues in the world, then you can't stupid things like your car breaking down or having a bad day at work or losing your wallet or just someone some random stranger or maybe just some guy in class if you're in high school insulting you or trying to bring you down it's not really that big a deal and there's bigger issues in life and for him that's why he probably won't be affected by this another is another youtuber and his name is Thaddeus Peter Smith. He is a gamer, but he's the typical sort of um, jockey, sort of muscular guy. And for him, nothing really affects him. Everything bounces off because he knows he's successful and he truly recognizes how insignificant and stupid and unimportant these little things are in the same sort of way. Um, and he does he's just so confident that he and his friends that's another big thing his social circle he surrounds himself with people like him who share that philosophy 
where stupid minor things like um, some random person at college making fun of him or insulting him they just bounce right off because he knows who he is he's proud of who he is he knows he's he's the shit um, forgive me for cursing but that's how he would describe himself and some stranger insulting him wouldn't register at all two others that are referenced are Bill Gates and Warren Buffett now these two people are the richest people or two of the richest people on the planet for the last few decades now and for them it's very self-explanatory and a lot of people reference these two types of people when explaining the same sort of situation basically these guys they're very wrapped up right now Bill Gates is really wrapped up in charity and he is pretty much devoting all his time to figuring out how to donate 99% of his uh, capital all all the funds and revenue that he attained becoming one of the richest people in the world he is now trying to use and and he's trying to use it for charity in the best possible way and he's spending all his time in this foundation trying to figure out the best way to use this money and Warren Buffett has also donated 99% of his his money to this foundation by the time he dies but that's not the point the point is even back before they got into this charity which wasn't that long ago both of them would have reacted the same way they that they would now to some random person on the street now this is an analogy that I learned quite a while ago I can't remember from who but um, I think one of the people with was, was Thaddeus uh, but it wasn't only him a lot of people reference this let's say some person went up to Bill Gates and said oh you're poor you're a poor loser you have no money and he just kept insulting him like this do you think it would even register for Bill Gates no because he knows he has money and this is sort of the whole concept you have to know that you're awesome inside and to develop that you have to sort of realize that a lot of things personality wise can be developed and you can't look to sort of material things sometimes uh, to attain that and Warren Buffett referenced this as well he referenced this in a speech he did to Washington State University he said something along the lines of look to the people that you would most want to be like and then look at the people that you would never want to be like the, the people that you detest the most and then you will quickly realize that the traits that differentiate these two groups are all things that you can work to attain it's usually not something physical it's usually something that personality wise and these things are usually something like passion drive being nice to strangers uh, being considerate being heartwarming being an awesome individual uh, being devoted to your task uh, having a great commitment uh, working hard not wasting a lot of time these are things that you can work to attain as well and what you'll find later on is that once you attain these personality traits that anyone can attain then sometimes the monetary stuff will start to roll in but the biggest thing for me is that like monetary stuff like how much money you make or what types of clothes you wear that type of stuff it's really just like even if you attain it it's, it shouldn't be the issue and you'll see that with people like Warren Buffett or Bill Gates and these types of things aren't that big a thing for them anyways you f you'll find that both of these people they don't drive Maseratis or Lamborghinis around they're the cars that they buy are very middle class and the lifestyle they live is very middle class both Warren Buffett's car and house he bought he bought 40 years ago and he still goes to the same house still drives the same car 
and he's one of the richest people in the world and I would like to regard him as a role model because you'll see all these other people who are making one hundredth, one thousandth of what Warren Buffett has made and they're buying expensive sports cars or they're, they're going out and buying huge million dollar houses uh, I don't want to reference people but if I had to you know you you just have to look at the pop artists who are making a thousandth of what Warren Buffett is making Chris Brown Ellen DeGeneres Tyga who is a rapper uh, Justin Bieber all these people buying all these fancy stuff and yet Warren Buffett who's making so much more isn't and that's all I have to say because in reality it's really tough even for me um, I remember quite a lot in the past a lot of different things would sort of get me down either people making fun of me at school uh, because of the way I dress or the way I am or just other things in life your loved ones bringing you down either because of a struggle of values or someone wanting something and you wanting something different or just your family or just having a really really bad day or just comparing yourself to people who will have everything better than you they have a better body better car better monetary stuff maybe they have that iPod that you don't have or that electronic device or they just have better clothing or they have a better life or more friends and you those stuff would bring me down sometimes but you really just gotta put that aside and realize and, and look be like water or rubber everything that they throw at you you just bounce off because I think the biggest thing is don't compare yourself to others and the way to do that is to avoid thing platforms that force you to do so and those things can be Facebook Instagram the internet or just I mean it's just in yourself like looking to like like I used to go out of my way to compare myself to others now I don't even even look and what you'll find is that if you just try and be the best you you can be then sometimes you will end up looking back and saying wow I, I surpassed these people and I really hope that they don't look at me in a different way because I would never look at someone on a lower level than me just because I've surpassed them in a certain area and it's unfortunate because a lot of these people do end up being superficial and they'll realize oh wow this guy is a lot better than me in school now and now we're all graduating college and getting jobs and then you'll see people sucking up to you and stuff and it's really really bad because for the longest time now whether someone's making more money than me or making less money than me that's not something that I would judge someone on but it's really sad because there are people who are and there are people who are arrogant when they are better than you and then once you surpass them they're like they switch the flip flip the switch immediately but um, not all people are like this and yeah one of my friends he used to use the phrase something like um, the only one I'm competing with is myself and that phrase implies a lot you're not comparing yourself to others you're just trying to be the best you you can be and you should just be content with that and yeah that's all I have to say do I have any other role models that I could look at um, yeah there's Owen who uh, he, he runs a sort of um, self-improvement slash dating company and he's the same way I don't know how rich he is but he seems fairly successful with his business and he himself is just completely like rubber you can tell because anything that anyone says against him he just returns with a smile on his face like even if you insult him or 
or people try and bring him down or like if he approaches a girl and he just gets completely blown out and rejected and humiliated or if someone tries and brings him down or insults him or, or bullies him he just returns it with a smile on his face and he's just constantly happy and this is something he definitely developed over time because initially when he first got into dating 10 years ago he was definitely not like this and it's really just through 10 years of hard work and developing the dating company that he's a part of and going through all the stuff he he's gone through where he's developed this sort of inner self where everything is thrown at him he just it doesn't affect him and that's how he's developed such a strong business and he himself has made a video on YouTube and he's he's talked about this and he's also referenced a lot of people he's met uh, he's referenced uh, the CEO of Zappos which is a very large online shoe company if I am correct which uh, the CEO he's met and apparently the CEO him among other people he's referenced all these people he has felt has retained the same sort of thing these people don't care if you if something petty gets in their way these sort of things just bounce off them and they don't let it affect them and he's sort of realized and acknowledged after meeting all these people that all of them have the same sort of vibe that a lot of rich people tend to have which is and again not all rich people um, some rich people are really depressed people but a lot of very successful people do have which is that they don't let petty things affect them or bring them down and if it is something serious uh, they try their best uh, to deal with it from a logical perspective and they don't bring emotions into it and a lot of things that I'm still sort of affected by now and were affected by a lot years ago like uh, for me the biggest ones were people making fun of me or a girl rejecting me or just not having clothing or looks that other people have and the fear of being you know excluded from the group these things like it, they don't, it doesn't affect them they don't care because they got bigger issues to fry and they're very proud and happy of who they become and they're proud of who they are and that's all I have to say so I hope you guys like this video and leave a comment if you watched all 22 minutes and as always like favorite comment and subscribe 23 minutes peace